everyone. Hey guys, welcome back to another crumble video. Today we got four cookies. We we're so excited because we're so hungry. Yeah. And we're excited they to try these. So good. Yeah. Crumble did a really good job mm -hmm. this week, at least making all the cookies look amazing. So let's see if they actually are. So yeah. uh, we have four cookies today. One of them is new that we uh, that we decided on getting, and then the other three looks like they are not new, but two of them I don't think we've had we've before. Had, yeah. So yeah, we'll go ahead and get right into it. And which one are we trying first? We're gonna try the cookie dough. Ooh, okay. So let All me right. cut this one up. So cookie dough is the ultimate treat yourself cookie. A brown sugar cookie topped with cookie dough, buttercream, and chunks of delicious cookie dough pieces. Ooh, I'm so excited. It's served cold too. So this one is served cold. Let's see if I can show this one. Here is that. There's Super the middle. Good. This cookie looks pretty. Here you want the one with sure. all the this one looks delicious. I love Sweet. cookie dough. It's a really thick cookie, and it looks like there's some uh, thick frosting on top. So mm -hmm. let's see how it is. My first bite's gonna be with cookie dough. Mine too. Okay, here we go. Cheers. Cheers. Mmm. Mm. Wow. I can taste the cookie dough. Not the actual little cookie dough on top. But the whole cookie, it's like cookie dough right off the bat. Mm. Yeah, like you can definitely taste the brown sugar. I can okay. see that. The brown sugar cookie, it really it stands out. And then the buttercream cookie dough frosting, it's like a good match. It is so mm. good. This cookie is really good. Mm -hmm. um, I think they did a good job of making the whole, the whole cookie taste like a ball of cookie dough. Mm -hmm. So it's not like you're getting like an actual like crispy, warm cookie and then the toppings are cookie yeah. dough. The whole cookie... Tastes just tastes like, like you're dough. eating cookie dough. Mm -hmm. It's really good. It's really good. I think this one's um, up there for one of the better cookies that they've that they've mm -hmm. made. So Spot yeah, on. I definitely recommend trying this one if you're a fan of cookie dough or yes. just a, a fan of good cookies. So yeah, definitely. Yeah. Okay. Which one are we trying next? Let's just go down the line. Let's oh, just okay, do okay, pink, okay. pink donut. All right, let me cut this one. Okay. So pink donut is a soft vanilla cookie topped with a pink vanilla glaze, a splash of rainbow sprinkles, and a hole just like a donut. Yep, so this one looks just like a donut. The cookie itself is pretty simple. Um, yeah. It does look like a donut though. Mm -hmm. So here we go. Oh, thank you. I mean, I'm not expecting too much from this because it really just looks like a regular looks like cookie, a cookie with frosting with vanilla on it. Vanilla frosting, yeah. But hey, you never know. Mm, kind of smells like a cookie Cheers. donut. Mmm. Ooh. This one's good. Mm-hmm. Wow. I like it. What kind of cookie is it? I think it's just a vanilla. We read, we read the express, A vanilla right? cookie. Wow. Yeah. It's really good. It tastes like vanilla. Mm -hmm. Um, it doesn't really taste like a donut or it tastes like a cookie. Mm-hmm. But I'm okay with it. It's something, you know, if you don't like a lot of frosting, a mm -hmm. lot of craziness. This is a very simple but delicious cookie. Um, yeah, I don't think it tastes like a donut. I think they could have perfected it by using more of a fluffier base. Like this, sorry, That's this is true. pretty dense. Yeah. So I think, and they've made fluffy cookies, yeah. like very light. So I feel like if they would have done more of that cookie base, mm -hmm. it would have helped a lot because it is a very dense cookie and it that's why I think yeah. it tastes so much like a cookie. Yeah, I mean it's good. I it, yeah, it, definitely. It definitely good. was better than my expectations. So mm -hmm. definitely try this one if you want a simple cookie. Mm -hmm. All right, next one. We're next one we're gonna try is the new one and this one is called This one is walnut fudge brownie, a thick brownie cookie with semi sweet chocolate, a creamy chocolate glaze, and sprinkle of walnuts. This one I was looking forward to because you guys know <laughs> I'm a chocolate person, so here is the flavor or the cookie up close. Mm -hmm. Here we go. So this one is a pretty heavy, dense cookie. Chocolate chips in the middle. Definitely is chocolatey. The smell. This one is it supposed to be served warm. Yeah. Oh wow, it does smell very, very chocolatey. Yeah. So let's see how okay. this one tastes. Cheers. Cheers. And this one is the new cookie of the week. Mm -hmm. Well, this one's very chocolatey. Um, so for me, taking the first bite, it tastes like every other mm -hmm. chocolate cookie with chocolate chips inside of it. I don't think there's much of a difference, but they do have the walnuts on top, which is good. It adds like a texture. 
Um, and then it, they do have a small coat of frosting on it. Um, I can't really tell too much. Like it doesn't add like an extra chocolate layer to it, mm -hmm. but just the cookie in general is very chocolatey. So I like it, but for people who may not like chocolate, mm -hmm. like a ton of chocolate, this may not be the cookie for you, so. Yeah, I don't know. I don't think it really tastes like a brownie. Like when you say walnut fudge brownie, like I want to taste brownie flavor and I don't, I taste chocolate cookie flavor. Mm -hmm. I don't know if that's like, it's difficult to make a brownie cookie, but I just think that I don't know. It doesn't taste like a brownie and that disappoints me because I really like brownies. I think I would have liked it more if it had more of a brownie base than mm -hmm. a cookie base, but I mean, it's crumble cookies. What do you expect? It's yeah. cookies. So, I mean, it was a really, it was a good idea. Um, I just don't think it was executed that well. Whoa, okay. And um, it's very chocolatey and I mean, I'm not the biggest chocolate person, yeah. so that's I why. why. I would have liked if they yeah. added like Back more, um, like thicker, big pieces of walnuts because this one's mm -hmm. very small crumbles. Mm -hmm of it and you don't like really get the... Like in the cookie. That oh yeah, you that good. too, that would uh -huh. be good. Like with the semi-sweets in there, like you so, could have yeah. inputted the walnuts. Yeah, mm -hmm. so for the new cookie this week, I, I would say it's it's okay. I mean, I like it for chocolate, but for as like a brownie, mm -hmm. I don't think it really came to... Fruition the way it was supposed to. But it's okay, it still tastes really good. So. Yeah, I mean, try it if you like chocolate, um, yeah. but I recommend the other two so far. Yeah. So. Okay. All right, last but not least. Last let's try one, this we are going to try um, looks like s'mores. It's a fresh off the campfire, a graham cracker cookie stuffed with milk chocolate chips, then topped with toasted marshmallow, a drizzle of chocolate, and a dash of wow, graham cracker that crumbs. That is a mouthful. Before I cut it open, but let me show you this. It cookie. is massive. This cookie is crooky. This cookie is crazy. Uh -huh. Now, we've had s'mores before, but yeah. this one was like, we had to get it again because it looks it like looks amazing. Uh -huh. So, let's cut open and see how this one tastes. All right, last one, but not least. Cheers. I want the marshmallow in it when I taste it. Maybe I should yeah. break it more. Yeah, break it in half. Here we go. Whoa, look at that. Oh my gosh, did you guys see that hole? Oh my god. Messy cookie. Well, um, I definitely taste the marshmallow. Mm -hmm. It's not like melted to where it just pulls apart. It's actually like really sticky. It's it's like, I would say it's melted, but not to like where it's gooey. It's still like stuck together. Mm -hmm. I think it's really good. Like I can really taste the marshmallow, the chocolate, and the graham crackers. It tastes like a s'more. Mm -hmm. um, I really like it. Yeah, so my mouthful. Um, mm. I really like this one. Um, I kind of wish I don't know if your piece your piece looks like it had a lot. I wish I had more marshmallow. Mm -hmm. Like I want the whole top yeah. marshmallowed up with graham cracker. Like I think that that would be really good. I don't think there was a lot that of marshmallow. Really um, but I do think that the marshmallow makes the flavor. Mm -hmm. Like it's it's really good. Um. It tastes like the an graham, authentic s'more. Uh -huh, this the is graham probably, cracker's good on it. Mm -hmm. This is probably the best s'more cookie that they've, they've, they've made. made. Mm -hmm. um, it just has all of the components. It tastes just like a s'mores cookie. Yeah. And sometimes they put like like just the marshmallow whip on it. Yes. It's not, an, like this is an actual this marshmallow. This is marshmallow. Uh, at least I think it is, because it tastes just like one. It has yep. the same texture. So this one is really, really good. Um, I would say actually that the cookie dough one was the best one of the week. Me too. But the, the s'mores one is really, really good too. So definitely mm -hmm. try those um, if you're gonna go uh, to Crumble this week because they are worth getting. So what do you think? Which one was your favorite cookie? Mm, I think the cookie dough one as well. Yeah. It was like spot on spot flavor wise. On. Mm -hmm. But yeah. So that's all we have for this week. We've yep. tried four cookies. I mm -hmm. hope you guys enjoyed the video and we'll yeah. see you guys next time. Bye. Bye.